Good morning, everyone. It's Rose Coleman coming to you live from my craft room here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. How's everyone doing? I'm just reaching for my AirPods. I'll put these in so that hopefully you can hear me no matter where I move around my craft room. Let's get those up here. There we go. Okay. <laughs> It's Wednesday. Today I'm going to showcase a card uh, using some retiring things that I really think you need to add these to your collection. So um, as you guys know, this catalog here is leaving, okay? Um, it's retiring. January 3rd is the last day to get the stuff in this catalog. I went through this catalog, um, I think it was the 1st of December, and I outlined it on a Facebook Live video that you can go back and rewatch if you like. And it has um, red marks around all of the things that are leaving um, and retiring and, and discounted. You can check that out. Hi, good morning, Kathy. Good to have you with me. Today is a super exciting day, you guys. It is free shipping with Stampin' Up! So whether you are a customer or a demonstrator, if you're a demonstrator, even better because you're going to get your demonstrator discount and you're also going to get that free shipping on orders over $65, right? So many perks to being a demonstrator. And also demonstrators can also shop from a demonstrator order and get things from the new catalog that is coming after Christmas. Do I have my coffee here with me? I don't have one within reach. But anyway, you can get free um, new stuff from the your demonstrator order as well. So when you choose, and if you choose $65, which you do have to get to 65 to get free shipping, you're going to also get celebration stuff. So it's a no brainer. You should be a demonstrator. And if you haven't joined yet, you can join in December and you can actually fill your starter kit with new stuff, right? New stuff from that new um, January to June mini catalog. So, so many perks. Hi, Kathy Moffitt. Thank you for joining me. Good to have everybody with me. Okay, I'm just looking here as I'm chatting with chatting with you. I just want to show you, I'm just trying to find out where those dies are that I want to feature that are 50% off. I'm going to play with the, <clears throat> excuse me, classic cloche bundle um, on page 22. So those dies are half price, you guys, and they're amazing. 22, um, page 22 the cloche dies. Now, the classic cloche stamp set is gorgeous. You can get the bundle. Um, the bundle, the stamps aren't on sale, but the dies are half price. So it's better to purchase them separately. Okay, so put in two separate item codes. So you can get the dies half price, and then you can purchase the stamp set separately. If you per put in the bundle code, you're only going to save 10%. Snowy Gatno. Oh, hi, Carol. <clears throat> it's a great day to stay inside, right? And to craft. <laughs> If it's snowy outside, or maybe you want to go snowshoeing or be out in it. Who knows, right? All right, so let's get started. I'm going to play with the classic cloche dies, and we're going to play with another stamp set that is also leaving that I'm super sad about because I wanted to keep playing with this one. All right, let's flip the camera, and we'll get started. Here we go. Okay, so as I point you down at my work surface here, just bear with me while I straighten up my camera. And we'll get started. Um, there's my host code. Today, when you shop with me using this host code on my online store and your order gets to $100, if you spend $100 and get free shipping, I'm also going to give you a 15% uh, percent credit. Okay, so you can either take it as a refund. I will e-transfer you back 15% of your subtotal. Or you can get that in embellishments. You can let me know. So um, when I see your email come through, I will reach out to you and ask you, hey, do you want a refund or would you like to choose embellishments for this amount? So I'm giving back today. For everybody who chooses to spend their crafting dollars with me on my online store, this is my gift back to you today. It's just a one-day special that I'm offering, but hey, why not, right? Free shipping and free stuff. It's perfect, right? It's a perfect combination. All right, let's take a look at this. The classic cloche dies, the cloche dies that I'm going to feature today are bundled with the classic cloche stamp set. Now there's the stamp set and it's it's Christmas, right? It has a bunch of Christmas scenes and you've got your birds down here, but the dies are what we're going to feature today because these dies go with another stamp set that is leaving you guys. The Sweet Treat stamp set is leaving and it is super cute. 
and you have that same shape so you'll be able to cut out this dome and to make cute little things to go on top of this little treat um, stand, cake stand. So you can put the cake on there, Christmas cake, a pie for Thanksgiving. Um, you can do cupcakes. I love, love, love this one. So I've been dying to use this together with the cloche dies because they do coordinate. So let's do that today. So when you buy these dies, you bought them separately, which you should, because they're only, they're only 1950. You're going to get this dome, but you also are going to get all of these trees, which I'm sure you'll use in your crafting for other purposes. You're going to use the, get these branches as well as these little accents over here. So you really don't have to have the stamp set, but of course it would coordinate if you were to get it. But we're going to make a card using these two things. And I haven't made this card before, so I'm totally winging it today. So we'll, hopefully this will turn out. In my mind, I have a vision. <laughs> so we'll see. Okay, so let's see. I'm just going to close my catalog here. Now, if you're looking for the Sweet Treats stamp set, where is that in the catalog? It is on page... I'll find it for you here. On page 11. So it's this stamp set right here. And there's my scissors. Okay, so this one right here. I love this one. It's so adorable. You can see the samples that they've made in the catalog. Really, really cute. Okay, so we're going to do a card using this one. And we're going to bring in some fun colors because we're just kind of taking a little break from Christmas here. I've got basic white. So I've got my thick basic white for my card base. And it measures eight and a half by five and a half scored in the middle at four and a quarter. That's going to be my card base. I have a layer of granny apple green that measures four by five and a quarter. And then I have a, a layer of polished pink that is slightly smaller. And it measures, let me see, I think I might have to bring in my paper trimmer and make it a bit smaller. So we're going to have a border of that granny apple green around the side. So we're going to trim this three and three quarters by five. Okay. So that should be right. Yes. There we go. So three and three quarters by five. I didn't need to trim it. All right. So let's do some stamping. So let's bring in our stamp set. And I really, I'm really liking this little heart, little heart here and the little love you set, um, sentiment, because I think that one can be used all year round. So let's go ahead and grab that little heart. And I'm going to grab a little block, my block A, and we're going to do some tone on tone stamping on this layer. So bring in my polished pink ink and we're going to do polished pink on polished pink. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm just going to stamp all over the background with this little heart, this little photopolymer heart, making my own, I guess you could call it designer series paper. <laughs> just a little tone on tone here. Did you know that you can get the same effect of doing this as you will if you were to use watermark ink, Versamark ink. So Versamark is our sticky, clear ink pad that you can use, you use for embossing, right? And it's sticky so that the embossing powder will stay. You can get the same tone on tone effect. If you don't have the same color ink as your cardstock, you can, you can stamp this in Versamark and you'll get the same effect. Let me just show you. I have a Versamark within reach and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So let's grab my Versamark pad. Just because I mentioned it, I should really show you what I mean. All right, so I've got Versamark here. It's a watermark ink. So that's what it means by watermark is that you can stamp tone on tone. Okay, so let me grab my cleaning mat. I do have it here, my chamois. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to clean up my, clean the pink ink, the, the polished pink off of my stamp. I'm going to show you what I mean. This is Versamark. So it's a clear ink, right? No color. So I'm going to stamp this heart. I'm going to put one right here. Now it's a lighter shade, but what it does is it takes on the color of whatever cardstock you do, you stamp on. So that's what it looks like on polished pink. Let me just show you on my granny apple green layer here what it looks like. There it is on granny apple green. So you can just leave it like that. It will dry. Kind of looks like granny apple green ink, right? So here, we'll put them side by side so you can see. You can see how sticky it is. See it's jumping? So 
there's how it looks on two different cardstocks, the same verse marking. So I just wanted to share that little tip with you. All right, so this is gonna go on to here. It's gonna, I'm gonna layer it on to my granny apple green. But before I do that, I'm going to, actually, I was thinking I would just cut, I'm gonna use my cloche dies to cut out this shape. Let's see. I'm gonna cut out the shape. All right, Rose is getting ahead of herself here. <laughs> just a little bit. We're gonna flip this over and we're gonna use this other side because you guys know if you come to watch me that you get there's two sides to every piece of cardstock. So before I get too excited, I do want to stamp the bottom of this little cake tray, right? The cake, the cake um, stand. So I've got it right here. I'm gonna stamp that first. So I'm gonna stamp that at the bottom here and I'm gonna use my Memento ink. All right, so let's get this all grounded first. So there's my cake stand. And we also have the top part of the cake stand, which is the dome part, right? Now, when you're pulling this out of the case, it's a very flimsy little stamp. So you wanna just lay it down because see how, if you go to put it onto your block, you can actually inadvertently put it on crooked or a little slightly off and then it will not match the die. So the best way to do it is to lay it down on your work surface, pick, take your block and then pick it up. And then you know it's gonna be in the proper shape. So we're just gonna take my ink pad here and I'm gonna ink it up from the top. And then I'm happy with that. I'm gonna stamp it right on top of the cake stand. So right here. Okay, now I'm gonna bring in my heart and I'm gonna do what I did before. So if you joined me at the beginning of the video, Rose was still just waking up, so <laughs> that's okay. We're just gonna do this first. We're gonna do the cake stand and we're gonna do the hearts and I'm stamping off the edge and I'm turning my little stamp as I go. There's no right or wrong way to do this. This is just free for all stamping here. Now that one there is not exactly perfect, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's hand stamped, right? You can make boo-boos and still go with it. Okay, so we've got that going on. I really like the tone on tone and this little cloche shape, we're gonna cut that out with the die, just like that. So you take your die and you put it right over top like so, and you can use some post-it tape and I ran out of my post-it label tape, but that's okay. You can use um, some sticky notes. So I'm gonna use a sticky note here. I wanna make sure that this is just gonna cut out the perfect shape. So I'm laying this over the top, press it down, and then we're gonna bring in my stamp and cut and emboss machine and we're gonna cut that shape out, easy peasy. All right, so we've got my machine right here and I'm gonna lay this down, put my top plate on, and we're gonna roll this through. All right, whoops, and all the cracking sounds are normal. That's to be expected. So then we can peel off our, our post-it note and we're gonna get this shape here and we're gonna get the nice dome for our, our cloched dome. And now we are going to use this and our layer of granny apple green right here, right? So I don't want it to be granny apple green. I wanna have a bit of white in there. So I'm gonna use a piece of white cardstock. So I've just got a little piece of basic white that I'm gonna trim down to fit behind here. Because I wanna do some stamping, right? I wanna put some stuff in this dome. So I'm gonna put a little slip, slip a little piece of white in there. So we don't need a big piece. And I'm just gonna grab my paper trimmer. And I think, let's just take this and measure. Yeah, like a four by four piece would be fine. So let's go ahead and trim a four by four piece. And we're gonna put that in behind and we're gonna do some stamping. Put something on this cake stand, right? 
All right, so this is gonna go, ah, four by four won't work. We need it to be a little bit smaller. Let's try four by three and a half. <laughs> okay, so four by three and a half, and then this can go just like this. See what I'm doing? I wanna have it so it's behind my little dome. So we're gonna stamp in there. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna stick that down so it's in place and then we'll do some stamping. Okay, so how's everybody doing today? Is it cold? It's cold where I am. <laughs> it's cold here in Calgary. We don't have snow. It's a bright blue sky, but I have learned since I've lived here for 23 years that never be fooled by the bright blue sky. <laughs> it can still be cold out there. So um, this is gonna go over top, but I can't, I'm not gonna put that on there yet because we're gonna do our stamping through the dome. And then we're going to do some, a little bit of a shaker mechanism on here. So here's what I wanna do. I'm gonna put cupcakes on my little cake stand today. So let's bring in that little cupcake stand um, image. I, can, I think I can fit two cupcakes on there. All right, so we're gonna use Memento ink and pick up my little cupcake. And I'm just lining this up so that it is in place so that when I go to glue it down, it'll be, my cupcake will be exactly where I want it to be. So I'm just gonna hold that in place. No stress, just hold it in place with one hand. And then I'm just gonna stamp with my other hand. So there's one cupcake. And I did put my thumb in there. The Stampin' Up blocks are amazing. They truly are. They're beveled on the sides and they, they are nice and thick. There's nothing any worse than a really thin block. <laughs> so definitely it's worth it to purchase the Stampin' Up blocks because they're nice and thick and you won't end up putting your fingers in the um, ink pad. So we've got two cupcakes there. I'm just trying to look at my images to see. You could put, no, I was gonna put one right there. Would that work? Let's try it, why not? It's a cake stand. You can just imagine that this cake, this cupcake is just like on a little stand like that. You know, some cake stand, like we, I have a cupcake thing that has little um, layers. I'm looking at this little stick here and I'm wondering if we could use that somehow. It's not quite long enough to put a little stand there. You could draw one in. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Those little cake stands, those little cupcake stands that you have little layers. I'm just gonna leave it. I'm not gonna try and do that today. <laughs> I think it looks fine just like that. But let's bring in some of our dimensional, not dimensionals, blends. So Stampin' Blends, and we're gonna do some coloring. So this is gonna be a very colorful card. So let's take away this piece here and we'll just do our coloring because I know it's gonna line up when I put it back on, right? So let's grab a couple of more colors. Um, let's grab some So Saffron. And how about some, let's grab some Soft Suede. We're gonna make some chocolate cupcakes here. So um, the inside parts here, let's do a little chocolate one up top and then we'll do vanilla for the two on the bottom so we got chocolate and vanilla down here and let's see we're going to give these um what do i have here i have polished pink so let's give this one up here a polished pink icing Love it. Okay, so that one's gonna have pink icing. And we're going to use the other icing. It can be any color, really, because, you know, anything goes. Um, let's use our soft suede and make some chocolate icing down here and my soft suede needs to be replaced because it's fuzzy because I used it on some um, 
what did I use it on? Pearls, I think it was. But I'm not throwing it out because there's definitely lots of ink still in here. So when that happens, I just hold on to it. I usually put some washi tape or something around it so that I know that it's not exactly perfect, but it can still be used, right? So let's put some um, So Saffron icing on this one. So we've got three different cupcakes to choose from there. All right, so let's bring in some Granny Apple Green and add, this one's gonna be Granny Apple Green for the, the cupcake liner. Just adding those colors, those bright colors, like so. And then we're gonna add some of the dark, polished pink. Yep. I'm going to put that one down here. Oh, now I want cupcakes. <laughs> okay, so cupcake liner in polished pink. And I need one more color. What should I do? I think I'm going to grab a brighter yellow. Maybe Mango Melody. Let's see here. Okay, let's do a Mango Melody on the bottom here for this cupcake liner. Oh yeah, that works. Okay, so we've got that going. Now, I'm just gonna use my fine tip to get up here in these little scallops. All right, so we've got some yummy cupcakes going on. Um, I am inclined to grab my Wink of Stella and make these sparkle, because you know you can buy sparkle um, spray to spray on your cakes and cupcakes. So we're just going to add a little bit of Wink of Stella to all of the icing here. And I'm just going to hold that close and show you. See the little sparkle on my cupcakes? Oh, they just look so yummy. So we're just going to put a little bit more on my little vanilla one there. So those are my three cupcakes. Got those going. And now let's bring in our mini not many, they're called cloche domes. Okay, so they look like this. They are called cloche shaker domes. So we're gonna grab one of those. And I love these so much, I have to buy some more. So we're just gonna pull one out, out of the package. I think you get um, 10, yes, you get 10 in a package. And these are perfect because they have adhesive already on them. They are super easy to use. I'm gonna use my trusty little take your pick tool. I'm just gonna hook off this, um, the wax paper there. So the first thing you wanna do is just take that part off. Now I'm gonna take my cardstock and I'm gonna put it right over top of that dome, of that cardstock or over the dome, okay? So just like that, can you see that? So now I'm gonna take it and flip it over and we have to add some of our sprinkles or whatever it is you wanna put in here. And I, I'm going to bring in, these are from the annual catalog. They're called Shaker Shapes. Look how cute these are. They look like candy, like you can eat them. They have circles and stars and hearts. And I thought this would be perfect to put in here. So we're just gonna take my, take your pick tool and I'm just gonna scoop a few in. You don't need to put a ton. That's probably plenty. And then I'm gonna take off my um, sticky part. Okay, so now that's sticky, and I'm going to add a little bit of extra sticky to the edges here, just because my piece of cardstock is really big, so I want it to stay put, like so, and then I'm going to take this piece. Now, this is the tricky part. <laughs> We're going to line this up, but it gives me a little bit of wiggle room with that glue, so let's just Turn this over so my sprinkles are staying put. Whoops. And we're just gonna shimmy this around. And actually what I should have done is exactly what it is telling me to do. Just take your sprinkles and push them in the middle. That should have, that would have been way easier, Rose, than trying to do what you did. <laughs> okay, so let's just keep the sprinkles where they're supposed to be and we're gonna line this up. There we go. We're gonna line this up with the edges like so. And we've got one little star there that wants to peek out. Let's just use my tool and poke that little star shaker bit in. There we go. Go in. You're either going in or you're coming out. What are you doing? 
<laughs> you cannot stay on the edge. Oh my gosh. There we go. <laughs> Are you guys laughing with me? Ah, look at that. So we've got our cupcakes and then we have our sprinkles that are just going to be a nice little feature for this card. Okay, so there's that. <laughs> and I love the, this little cake stand. I just want to accent that a little bit more. So I'm going to take my polished pink and let's do a little tone on tone coloring down here and add my polished pink just to make that stand out a little bit on the cake stand. There we go. Okay, so there is my card front. Now let's bring in our card base. So I'm going, because this is so colorful and so vibrant, I'm just gonna put this right onto a basic white, thick basic white card layer. And I'm just gonna come around here with my liquid glue and we're gonna add this to the front of our card. Like so. Look at this. Fun, fun birthday card. This is why you need to grab this set, you guys. You need to grab this set and you need to gra grab the shaker domes and the, and the cloche dies so that you can make fun, fun, fun birthday cards. Okay, so we need a greeting on here. So we have from this stamp set, the Sweet Treats, the words I love, or it says love ya, right? And Valentine's Day is coming up, so you could totally make Valentine's cards with this one. So love ya. We're gonna just grab that. I'm gonna grab some scrap white cardstock. I just got a piece here. Let's see, do I have a little piece? Yes. Let's take a little piece. And we're gonna stamp. Let's stamp with polished pink. And we're gonna stamp right on here. Like that. And I'm gonna bring in my my oval punch, my double oval punch, and I'm gonna punch out this piece and I'm going to lay that onto my card and see will it fit yes it will yay okay so we got that now if you want to really highlight the hearts you can stamp a, a little bit of the heart on the side if you wanted to I think I'm just going to leave it like that um let's see I'm going to grab a little bit of granny apple green and we're going to punch the top part the scallop oval as a as a background and see if that fits yes that will fit and we're gonna put love ya up here isn't that cool oh I am definitely gonna be making more of this card I need to order some more shaker domes today before they sell out because they are retiring so let me grab my polished pink sponge <laughs> thank you guys <laughs> All right, so I'm going to add a little bit of, just a little bit of polished pink to the edges of this um, oval. You see them? What do you see? Sorry, I'm missing something. <laughs> Kathy, I missed something. Oh, you got them? They're in the catalog. Yes, they're on the same page as the Sweet Treats or the cloche um, dies, which are half price. Oh my gosh, half price, you guys. So get yourself some domes, get yourself those um, amazing die cuts because you will use them. I'm, just, I'm sure you'll use them for other things. Those trees, like you're gonna get 10 trees and the little branches, definitely a good value. Okay, so that's gonna go up here like this. All right, so because I've got this, this is um, a card that you probably you're going to have to pay extra postage because it's really thick but this could be a card that you can give to your sister your friend that you're going to see hand it to them okay instead of paying the extra postage <laughs> just hand it to them okay so there we've got our love ya now the, these little um, shaker shapes that are in the catalog let's just bring in one of those let's just bling it up a little bit more right here I'm going to put a little daub and I'm going to pick up one of those little hearts and I'm going to stick it right there. Love ya. Oh my gosh. Stinking cute. Okay, so <laughs> here's my card. I'm super happy with how it turned out. What do you guys think? Will you make one of these? Whoops, I'm looking for comments and I'm not seeing them. <laughs> Thank you, Kathy. I'm so happy you like it. Who doesn't love a shaker card, right? <laughs> So we've got love you on there. And then the inside, you can put 
Look at this, there's a happy birthday. A tasty treat for someone sweet. I'm gonna stamp both of those. So happy birthday, and definitely you would want to give a tasty treat to this person, whoever it is you're gonna give it to, right? So let's grab a block and we'll finish this card off. I'm gonna stamp with um, both my feature colors here, Granny Apple Green and my polished pink. I love, 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 I can't say it enough. I love how Stampin' Up! always coordinates their colors, right? We can, we always know what to use with one another, right? So these um, shaker shapes in the catalog, it'll tell you the colors that are in there so you can plan out your projects, you know what you can use. Sometimes if you go to one of your local craft stores, it is a challenge, you guys, to find things that match perfectly, but Stampin' Up! has taken care of all of that for us because everything always coordinates. Tasty treat for someone sweet. There we go. And if you want to, it's all about the stamping. So let's do another heart right here. There we have it. <laughs> the inside is complete. So I had so much fun making this card. <laughs> Let me just flip you around. I may have missed some of your comments. <laughs> I'll go back and check. But uh, yeah, this, this was a fun card to do. I definitely need to add some of these to my order today. Don't forget, guys, when you get to $65 today, Stampin' Up! is taking care of the shipping. So enjoy. Stock up. Today's the perfect day to do it. I hope you're going to have a great Wednesday, and I hope you'll come back and join me tomorrow for another fun stamping session. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye.